Hi, Vinay Gopal Rao here. Uh, globally head the finance and accounting practice and emphasis BPM. Me and my team focus on solving problems for the CFO controllers across the globe. We invested in this space about uh, 15 years back, almost at the same time at which the company was incorporated. And just in case you feel this is a lot, come with me as I will introduce you further to the finance and accounting practice in Infosys BPM. CFOs or controllers are expected to bring value to the data that is lying across the organization. How do they bring uh, value using insights from those data? How can they help in improving the business, not just from a cost reduction perspective, but also from the perspective of improving the revenue? So their job is changing from being just, you know, uh, running a corporate accounting shop to being somebody who enables decision making in business and who helps the business taking forward. We have a risk and compliance team sitting out of operations and, you know, capturing all the people, process and technology risk. We have invested in a separate technology team uh, which focuses on finance and accounting solutions. We are now looking at you know, conversational CFO like chatbots, machine learning. We have a VAT center of excellence in, in the Europe which caters to about 33 different countries. We do from a pricing standpoint and that has been highly appreciated because it's now moved from effort based to outcome based. It's not just about, you know, FTE based or transactional based pricing, but it's about, you know, how you can give a bundled price for say application development, infrastructure and business process management. So, there is a continuous focus of partnering with the customers, looking at their p and influencing it rather than our p and is, you know, our forte. One of our mining customers based out of Australia, uh, they had a lot of data lying all over the place and they didn't know how to bring value to it. See, we used our Infosys Insight platform. We were able to bring insights to them where they had excessive working capital, and we were able to bring that insight to help them to optimize their inventory level. Company based out of uh, you know, Europe, they were uh, having four markets, not talking to each other, a number of fallouts, the, the discipline around the entire uh, close process was missing. We wrote 80 business rules. We used our uh, you know, artificial intelligence platform and connected each of the markets to each other to talk upfront. So at the end of the month, you, was, you observed that there were hardly any fallout and the close of books accelerated from 12 to five days. You know, firstly, I think I would look at the regulatory changes that are happening. If you look at Brexit, that's going to cause disintegration of the, uh, or decentralization of the operating models. Uh, so building, uh, you know, capabilities within those regions is very important and that's exactly what we have done. Then if you look at technology itself, we are envisioning that 30 to 40% of the floor will be bot driven and the rest of it is going to be human intervention. So how are we shaping up our technology on that space or artificial intelligence to influence book closure or you know collectibles. We are looking at our blockchain case on continuous accounting. So I would believe would help you know CFOs uh, ask and our own vision to evolve and be future ready.